just a quick look at my flight aware setup it's the uh, raspberry pi um, powered flight aware aircraft tracking station gifted by pat w0 oscar kilo echo from ham radio outlet in portland still uh, going strong after a couple of years of use so we've got the um, dongle which is the original flight aware dongle and now there is an updated version with a couple of extra filters in there but this is working very nicely i've actually got a, a ferrite choke on the coaxial feed which runs out, out of the window it's the lightweight mini uh, gauge coaxial um, antenna feed line and in there is a network connection uh, and that's just uh, hooked up straight into this uh, Wi-Fi uh, network adapter uh, kind of thing you know the crack so yeah that's how that works pretty basic so I'll let you have a quick look at the antenna in a second so working well with the Raspberry Pi I just actually made this stand today tidy things up so it's just a little bit of uh, plate and it just houses that unit in there perfectly and probably uh, dispel away a little bit of warm um, air anything like that it'll cool it down with it being a, a reasonable conductor not that it gets particularly hot so that's the setup so yeah I did notice there was actually an aircraft coming up it showed up on the uh, screen which I just checked before I nipped out the actual antenna is uh, on the top of my mass. It's a very small one. I'll let you have a closer look. It's this one here. It's a Coke can. So a homemade Coke can, Coke can antenna using a piece of welding wire. It's only about, uh, if I remember correctly, about seven, seven centimeters long. Uh, and it's just a Coke can as a ground plane uh, with a bit of a vertical element sticking up. So that's the antenna. You can see some of my other antennas, obviously. For, amateur radio but the one we're focusing on is this small one at the very top there made from a simple coat can with welding wire still doing a fine job for me as well I'll show you in a second on the screen so welcome inside my radio shack on the top here we've got the local airport Lee's Bradford Airport LBA that's the reception of the tower so I can track and uh, receive any conversations that's taking place between the tower and the pilot. On the screen here, uh, this is where we're seeing what's going on. Um, so the activity at the moment, we've got uh, in position total aircraft on the screen as you can see, we've got 35 aircraft uh, currently and they're all from around the world obviously, uh, identified by their flag and their tail number. The information gives you altitude, speed, distance, current heading, all that kind of stuff just at a glance which I showed you previously before but we've got a transmission coming in so that's just the aircraft that's about to probably take off which will be on the runway it should it's either that yellow one there uh, which we've probably got on the screen now Oh, it's one that I haven't seen yet which hasn't quite taken off so all the information is on the screen to the right telling us who's who so that could have been that particular operative there on the top and this is what we are seeing currently on the coke cam antenna through the raspberry pi so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit a little bit wobbly because I'm just using my handheld device but as we zoom out we get an idea of the distance that we're receiving so some pretty good distant signals coming in from the aircraft and they do actually uh, use my Raspberry Pi PiOware system as a two-way setup they do get a position fix from my ground station so I get a signal from them and they get one back from mine using the transponder setup so I know there's a lot of other operators using the PiOS SkyOS system and like I say I got it from a good friend of mine Pat thanks very much Pat still in good use and I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of how it's still performing I know you've seen it a few times already the regular followers but for anyone who's new this is uh, just another bit of fun which you can play around with and uh, you can check your statistics so you can see what's going on um, throughout the, the, the plot of of uh, all your aircraft 
which are collected hourly and uh, you can see the data on the graphs if you look there a little bit lower down we've got the footprint coverage and then we've got the positions reported and so forth what I like is this little bit here which is telling you the flights with positions from this feeder so these two aircraft currently uh, well recently got a, a position directly from my feeder and then there's a few bits of other information regarding other nearby sites so yeah it's good fun uh, reasonably cheap and uh, keeps you pretty up to date with what's going on in the air and I do enjoy looking at it on my mobile device I can access it wherever I am so that's the Raspberry Pi system still going strong Pi aware sky aware with the flight aware <laughs> so yeah quite a few tongue tackling phrases in there thanks for watching this one hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch up with you on another video